Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to do past, present, and future. We're also going to do the other person, how, how somebody is feeling about you or who's coming into your life, whichever it is. Their feelings are mutual. So for the theme of the week, somebody's feelings are mutual. Their feelings are mutual. So let's get started. What do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? for the next seven days, past, present, and future, and who's coming in, or let's talk about their person, whichever, their person, let's say it's their person, past, present, and future, what do we have for Virgo? Some of you are dealing with an emperor, I just cut it to the emperor, it could be an Aries, it could be Capricorn, somebody that is very strong, uh, Strong-willed, determined, this is a leader, this is somebody that is in a position of authority, takes their position very, very seriously, um, very structured, given to take action. So you're dealing with a very strong masculine energy. This person's feelings are mutual. Past, six of wands reversed, seven of swords reversed, two of swords. Present, lovers reversed. Queen of Cups, Justice reversed, and Future, Future, Eight of Pentacles reversed, Fool reversed, and Five of Cups, wonderful. And this person, the other person, the other person, Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles reversed, and the Emperor reversed, so... Whoever you're dealing with, that's their feelings are mutual, mutual, but they're having a hard time. This person is having a hard time expressing their feelings. They are very, uh, it feels like this person has a hardened, they may have a hardened heart or they, it's against their, their views to express their feelings. You may not know your value as well. We may have somebody here that may see that you don't know, know, know your value. So I think that's something you need to consider. And I say that because this is my third Virgo reading. I've done two now. And one of, the, one of these this came out was you don't know your value. And, um, so, and I saw it in the very first reading that you don't know your value. You had the Empress in reverse. So you could have somebody coming in that, and you may have more than one person because we had multiple competitors here. Um, so you may, at least one of these people that is coming towards you is, uh, may see that you don't know your value. They may see your vulnerability and they could take advantage of that. So I need you to, I need you to be aware of that. Um, I also feel like you have somebody else here that does have genuine feelings for you, but this person also see, sees that you don't know your value. You must be wearing that. You must be, you must be, uh, showing that, you know, that you don't know your value in some way. Sometimes we get in a place where, you know, it shows, it shows. So anyway, um, I feel like in your past, there's been no victory. There's been no success. You've been cheated. You've been lied to. You've been deceived. You know, we have the six of wands reversed, the seven of swords reversed, and the two of swords. There's definitely more than one option here. I feel like you, uh, you know, it's like a loss. This is a disgrace. You maybe even feel embarrassed, embarrassed, embarrassed over what you've endured. You know, I feel like you're also protecting yourself. I feel like you've protected yourself more recently. I feel like you're protecting yourself from getting hurt. You're probably not even looking for anybody right now because it's a self-protection tactic. I feel like you've been cheated. You've definitely been cheated. I don't know if you, somebody cheated on you or you just feel like you've been cheated. You know, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that, or you have dealt with somebody that totally embarrassed you, that loves attention. This is an intention seeker that has multiple, multiple, multiple admirers. This person just goes around from place to place to place, getting whatever they can get. And maybe you were in denial about this. You didn't want to believe it. You know, but the fact 
is the fact. And I think that I think that and that maybe that's part of the 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 reason why you don't know your value because I feel like you've ignored it. You've ignored that you were dealing with somebody that is it's kind of like a disgrace. This person is an embarrassment, but they're highly respected. Everybody thinks they're a good person, but they're not really a good person. They're not. And I think that you were even you've been in denial about this person. It's like, you know, this is this is like infatuation of some sort. Maybe you were infatuated with this person because of their charm, you know. This person is extremely cunning and extremely charming and it's like they charm the pants right off of you, you know, and the passion may have been there, you know, and I think or there's some sort of strong attraction to it, but I feel like, you know, you need to uh open your eyes and see it for what it is. I think this person may have come into your life to teach you your value. Okay, I do. I feel like you've dealt with, you have a couple of options here. I think that you have a narcissist. I have, For one, you have a narcissist. This person knows that they have control over you. They know that you don't know your value and they know that they can play you. Okay. I also feel like you have somebody else here that is emotionally available that wants you to give them a chance. But, you know, you you may still have your heart set on this narcissist who has their control over you, you know. Um, I think that right now you are feeling detached. You are feeling separated. You're, you may be separated. They got a lover's reverse in the now position. I feel like you, you're feeling... Uh, you know, definitely unhappy, like how could this happen? You know, this is not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair, justice reverse. There could even be, there could be even some news of legalities that are coming. Now I'm gonna like I told you that this that I'm changing the story. This is my third Virgo reading, and what I saw in my second reading and my first reading was there's a woman around you. Okay, this is a feminine, it's a woman. This woman is extremely jealous of you, okay? This woman uh, does not like you for any reason whatsoever. She's jealous of your shine. She's jealous of your beauty. She's jealous of what you have. She's jealous of who you are. Now, this could be a stepmother. Could be a mother-in-law. Could be your uh, person's ex-wife. It could. It's a woman. This, or it could be their ex-girlfriend, or it's the, their girlfriend now and. This woman is super, 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 super jealous of you. It's very clear. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could also be a Libra or a Gemini. Um, we also had Capricorn and Leo. So there is a woman, there is a woman that is, is super jealous of you. And it feels like she's trying to alter a contract or take you to court or trying to change something to do with the child support or the marriage contract or the money or or something to do with a child. She, she, she is so jealous of the contract. We have the lovers and justice and the Queen of Cups. This is somebody that is so jealous of a contract that you have that she is gonna cause you some drama. Okay, and I saw that with the Five of Wands. Get prepared for some drama, okay? You've got a woman here that is jealous as all get out of you and she's going to do whatever she can to bring imbalance and disharmony to your life. That's how jealous she is. Okay. So it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out for, I think that it's not going to go in her favor because we got the queen of cups, the justice reverse and the lovers reverse. Now this is, you know, I, I feel like she, cause I don't, I don't, I don't take you as being the queen of cups. I don't, I feel like you're the queen of pentacles. I feel like you are the queen of pentacles. Um, this queen, this queen has the cover on the cup. Okay. This is, and I know, and I don't care what anybody says, I don't feel like it's you. I feel like this queen of cups, whoever she is, is not going to get what she thinks is not going to go in her favor. This woman is not going to get what she wants. Okay. She's being vindictive. She's being vindictive. She's being revengeful. She's acting on her emotions. She's not mastering her emotions and the judgment or the justice or the verdict or whatever it is, is not going to go in her favor. It's not. Um, she's jealous of, of, uh, she's jealous of whatever contract you're in. She's jealous. She's jealous of something. Dead end. Death. Something about death. Ten of Swords, Four of Swords. Those are both the end. It's ending cards. Well, this isn't fair. This isn't fair. The end of a contract. The, this isn't fair. Death of a situation. 
We have the death of a situation here. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Extreme betrayal. This person is lying. There's somebody here that is... This is like an argument with no resolution in sight. Separating. Separating from a partner. You're going to receive a message. They're going to receive a message about a separation. Seven of Pentacles reverse. This is definitely a dead end. It is a dead end. We have a dead end here. This is, there's, it's time to relocate. It's time to go someplace else. This is a dead tree. It's dead. Something, the Four of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and then Seven of Pentacles reverse. That's dead. That's, it's dead. You, you can't water a dead tree. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. Now, let's get a challenge. What is your challenge this week? Two of Pentacles reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed is losing balance. A no contingency plan. Too many balls in the air. Things all over the place. There's going to be some chaos this week. You're going to be dealing with some chaos. Grieving over a loss. Somebody's giving up. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Foolish, naive behavior. There's consequences here. It feels like we got somebody here that is trying to take revenge on you. They're trying to hurt you. They're trying to take you down. Somebody's trying to take you down. Who's coming towards you? Emperor reversed. You got to be careful. There is somebody coming towards you that does not have good intentions. This person is corrupt. They are corrupt. This is a narcissist. This person is looking for somebody that is weak. I just got to be honest with you. They're going to be expressing their feelings. They're looking for a weak individual. You need to be darn careful. This person may be coming towards you because they have just separated from somebody that they betrayed, you know, that they cheated on. There's somebody here that is not trustworthy that is coming towards you. And you, and you have two choices with that two of pentacles. You can choose to know your value and not go after, go with this narcissist, whoever it is that knows that they got you wrapped right around their little finger. Or you can choose a better option. Choice, two of swords, two of pentacles, it's your choice. It's your choice. There is also this woman that has separated from this person that is going to be... I feel like this person's going to cause some drama for you. So be prepared for that. In the future, not working out. Making a poor judgment call. Grieving, grieving in the future if you make the wrong choice. Eight of Pentacles reverse, not working out, full reverse, naive, impulsive decision, stupid, stupid decision. I'm being honest, grieving over a loss because you don't know your value. You have two choices. Who's the other choice? With the lovers as well, there's, there's two choices here. Choose wisely. There's consequences. There's qu consequences. Do not invest in somebody who has a history of 
cheating and loves attention. If you know that they are attention seeking and that they cheat all the time, do not allow them to pull the wool over your eyes. Take off the rose colored glasses. Who is the other person? Knight of Swords. This is a warrior. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Who is the other person? Ace of Wands. Six of Swords reversed. Who is the other person? You haven't met this other person yet. You have not met this other person yet. This other person is coming. They haven't arrived yet. Take your time. Just wait. Be patient. Be patient. They're on their way. They're on their way. You haven't met them yet. Do not let this narcissist take advantage of you because you're lonely. Oh my God. So... I also feel like um, you need to ground yourself. You need to master your emotions. You, you need to master your emotions. You need to be in control. You need to be the boss of your life. You need to protect yourself. You need to love yourself. Self-love is big. Big. Some of you may be receiving news of a death as well. I'm just being honest with you. Hold on to your value this week. Hold on to your value. Be patient. Don't rush into anything with anybody. Do not rush. Do not rush, because I feel like there is somebody here that is is coming in. This person is the, is not a keeper, okay? They're not a keeper. But I also feel like you have somebody else that is coming that you have not met yet, or this person hasn't come in yet, where you, they will have mutual feelings. But right now, you're biting off more than you can chew with somebody that is corrupt this person is corrupt you also have somebody here that is money hungry this is somebody that is money hungry that is super super i told you this woman is super jealous of you she may be trying to convince her husband or this man to go in her direction perhaps you say go ahead go ahead just 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 go there is definitely a woman here that is very, very conniving and she's trying to connect, convince the father. Maybe it's the father of your children or your father or the, or the boss or the man of the house. She's trying to convince the man of the house to do something that is unjust. Okay? This has something to do with money, maybe child support or inheritance or something like that. This is a greedy, selfish woman that you are dealing with. You're dealing with a greedy, selfish woman. Ooh. There's consequences. There's some sort of consequences here. This woman is trying to hurt you in some way. It has to do with money. Or in any way she can. She's trying to hurt you in any way she can because she is so jealous. I know who this person is. For me. has to do with that emperor <laughs> letting go stepping into new territory 
somebody's going to be letting go. They're going to be stepping into an un unknown territory. They're giving up. They're giving up. They're giving up the money. Giving up. Giving up the money. Giving it up. Giving it up. Because you get the eight of pen. Giving it up. Giving up the job. Giving up the position. Letting go. It's time to relax. Two of Wands, spur the moment decision, making a decision to go. Suddenly, suddenly leave, sudden departure. I don't know what is going on here, but I do believe that there is going to be grieving over a loss in the near future because of that Five of Cups, okay? Giving up, this isn't working out. Sudden, sudden, sudden departure. Letting go. Extreme grief, grief, crying. Choosing to go, choosing to leave, choosing to let go. You're going to be choosing, somebody is choosing to let go. I feel like you're good. you got some trouble ahead. There's some trouble. you got trouble coming. Tell you what, you got you got some sort of woman here that is trying to cause you trouble. She is trouble. She's 100% trouble, okay? She is so jealous of you. She's willing to lie, steal, anything to bring you down. Oh, I saw this one and the other one too. Page of Pentacles. Don't worry about it, okay? Just, just, just whatever. Because you have an opportunity. You're going to be starting a new project. You're going to be starting it on a new path. You have the goods. You have it. You have it. It's in your hands. There's nothing to worry about, okay? So whatever this is, you, you're receiving it. It's, it's yours. It's yours. It's yours. I want you to know that it's yours. So something is yours. You're going to be receiving something solid, stable, secure. Whatever you have is yours. It's being given to you. This is a new investment. It's a new project. It's a new path. It's a gift. It's yours. It's yours. The gift is yours. It's yours. This is your gift. They can't have it. They can't take it. It's yours. Sudden decision. Sudden decision. Somebody is trying to stop you. They're trying to stop you from... Having success. Oh my God. Anyhow, you do have somebody here that is, is coming into your life. This person is a lover. Okay, you have a lover that is coming into your life, but you need to wait. You need to wait for this person. You need to wait for this person to come. Do not be in a hurry. Do not rush or you will fall. You will fall. You know, you'll fall. You'll fall really, 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 really hard. And I do feel like when this new person comes into your life, you are going to fall really hard. I think that you're going to fall really hard in love with them. Um, I do. I think you have a perfect match here. But I think it comes after a significant loss. Significant. Very significant. When you meet this person, this person that's coming in, they are at a distance. I feel like they're at a distance. It's going to be an instant attraction. Instant going to knock you right off your feet. Whoever this narcissist is that you've been dealing with, they're going to be communicating with you as well. They're going to be testing your value. Your value is going to be tested by this person. What the hell was that?
printer is messing up. Ten of Pentacles, change in living situation. It may have something to do with inheritance, money, business, stability, financial abundance. Some of you may be getting together with somebody you're going to marry, maybe purchasing a new home, maybe moving into a new home. Financial success. You are headed towards success. Something very, very, very comfortable. Permanent, permanent, permanent. You're going to be receiving an offer that leads to something permanent. But you have to make, you're going to be put in a position where you have to make a judgment call this week. Choose wisely because there's consequences for your choices. You can choose to be betrayed and hurt and stabbed and, and uh, stepped on and cheated on. Or you can choose to wait for somebody that sees your value. You're going to be put in that position this week. You're also going to be dealing with a witch. So get prepared for that.